welcome to my YouTube channel, Julie McNeil Crafts. So, today I am playing with the jelly prints that I made. So, these are the two that I plan on playing with today. I'm just planning on making some simple cards. This one, um, this chipboard here, um, got sprayed, um, and I love how those colours have turned out. But I'm also thinking they would look really cool on a black and white background. Um, and these particular chipboards here, I want to have them on here, but I want them black so that they stand out. So because I know I want to turn these black and because I know I want a black background for that, before I start, I'm just going to take these two chipboards and as part of sort of getting them covered to the colour that I want, I am going to make yet another background paper this time with spray so oops, I've got some mop up sheets here because the black probably will get everywhere so those were the sheets that I was um, that's actually not those are jelly prints that oh dear if I was organised I'd be dangerous those are my mop up sheets they look a bit more like mop up sheets don't they right so what I'm going to do is I want these black for the project that I'm working on but as I said I also really fancy having um, a black and white background for that coloured um, the coloured thing so I just need to find my black spray which I think okay. I just saw. got my Dilution ink spray and I am just going to spray that a little second and give it a minute just to absorb um, anything that I don't get I can get again but I'm wanting to just sort of I want to wait a second there we go so that my black and white background is quite different look at that that is quite cool and I'm just going to move them and spray a bit more and again I'm just going to let that wait because um, it's going to puddle, it's going to puddle under it a little bit anyway, but hopefully this will just give me a little bit of a background to play with my chipboard, chipboard the coloured chipboard that I had, but I definitely wanted a black and white look to that. Look at that, it's so retro, it's awesome. As I said, I'm doing two for one here because I'm creating the background that I want and I'm also colouring my chipboard. So that's cool. So I'm going to just move those to the side now and save that paper for a later. So I'm just going to move that this side, let it dry, oops, and then we will come back to these so again I'm just gonna waft them with the heat gun this particular one's just a bit more at the bottom and just because I want it really quite black okay so I'm just gonna let that dry clean my desk and then let's make as I was actually putting that away <laughs> and letting it dry and um, I saw these black pieces here and then I then had a vision of just putting that over like this um, the layout of the way the squares is not quite working for me so I think I'm going to snip into them and just widen them out but I'm actually I'm trying to decide now whether I want something like oh that looks a bit better whether I want something like that I think that works really really well a little bit of doodling that could be fab or I've got this background that I'd originally made um, and whether, see, I just think it actually looks brighter on that. I'm still going to save that though because that's going to make something else that'll be fabulous. But yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. So I am going to just grab a card base, I think, and um, yeah, we'll okay. see how we get on. So I've got a card. I think I am just going to. Um, edge it in black because I like to edge everything and we do have quite a lot of white space and it is looking a bit squint but I think it will work 
um, I may also just grab a little bit of a text stamp just for a little bit of subtle background stuff. So I know that I'm kind of having it like that so I just want to sort of work out with the carrier sheet maybe where I would, that's a little trick I got off of Charmaine that I just want to work out where we could have a little bit of extra text. As I said this particular set does come with stamps so please do check the website because you can get um, stamps that will completely coordinate mm. but this is just sort of a little bit of a um, background element to that um, just a little bit of extra interest as well and then we'll pop that on like so so that's yeah just extra bit of black always um, does make a difference I think so I'm going to just grab my pen and do a load of squiggles a bit of scribbles just to sort of frame it and again it's just a bit more to sort of add that extra extra detail in and yeah I'm going for scribbly the better the thing is with a jelly plate it's not a very um even precise picture it's very random it's very scruffy it's just the nature of jelly jelly prints and um, so let's work with that and um, said not overly worry about you know having straight lines not that I ever do but it just shows that you don't need to okay so I'm going to grab that then and just stick that down and very quickly so yeah I spent a lovely hour or so with my chipboards and my jelly plate I made a load of backgrounds and but now that I've got the backgrounds and I've got some of the elements um coloured up, we can very quickly put things together, which is fabulous, if we can get our glue to work. Come on. Here we go. It's coming now. It's just proven to be a little bit tricky for a minute, but it's coming now. Okay, so let's get that glue on. And I'm just going to pop that down. I have to say this is one of my favourite prints that um, came up. I'll pop that down. I'm a bit aware that, that I've used the VersaClear ink so um, it can just sort of stay a bit damp for a while. I'm just going to make sure I get this sort of in the right shape because I want it to obviously take, take this and look right. So, I like that. Okay, so I am going to, let's just get this stuck down there. And I've managed to get a little bit of black marking on some of those chipboards, so I'm, I will be doing some embellishing <laughs> just to fix that. It's because I should let it dry. But you know, that would require patience. Not something I'm overly abundant in. Stuck down there. And then I will. There's a wee conversation going on between my daughter. I don't know who doesn't look 17, but apparently somebody doesn't look 17. So if uh, you're hearing that in the background, I'm none the wiser either. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop that there. And then I actually want to raise those flowers a little bit more, even though there's the dimension. Um, with the fact that they are chipboards, I just want there to be a further um, dimension. So I'm just going to pop a, a little bit of 3D foam um, on the backs of those just to, um, as I said, just to raise that a little bit further. Okay. And we've got a nice, bright, simple card. I'm kind of wanting to do. I think these um, chipboards are like so soft and pretty that I do want to go for a um, nice soft pretty look with them as well and I kind of also want to, I've seen Denise's, Denise's got a lovely sort of metallic look going and Emma's are just fabulous because obviously like we're all sharing our stuff in the background so do go, I'll be popping this on Sam's channel um, 
So depending where you find me, if you find me on Sam's channel, feel free to pop over and um, find me on mine. If you find me on mine, feel free to pop over to Sam's. But Sam has um, a Facebook group and all the DT will be sharing their makes in the Facebook group. And I've seen some of them already and they are fantabulous. Right, so let's stick that down there like so. And then I'm thinking that, now did they come down with me from the loft? I will check. I'm thinking that Nouveau Drops okay, I cool. found my Nouveau Drops. So I am just going to grab these and I'm going to, I'm not putting them on evenly, but almost the, these flowers have got like a real scribbly look and I'm almost just sort of creating that same doodled scribbly look with the Nouveau Drops. Um, so it's kind of scratchy and um, and just sort of yeah, following that, that design and then when it dries hopefully it should look quite cool. So I'm just uh, trying to get the pressure right so that it's coming out at the right speed. I'm obviously getting cold. I will go through and see her in a moment. I will in nighttime puddles, which is fair enough. I'll just finish this and then go. Right. And, and then I'm going to do the same here. That's it. It's just another layer of texture. And then the other thing this will do is um, those little black marks that ended up on there that I didn't really want. Hopefully it will just disguise that somewhat as well. And if I can see if I've got a little glitter into my temporary craft room, I will see if we can just maybe sprinkle a little something on there just to give it an added something or other. Um, I kind of want a sentiment. Um, Okay, I'll use mine because I don't have an issue with my stuff being on TV and I did check with Sam that um, it would be okay <laughs> to add some stamps so that is fine I'll just do that I've got lots of bits of paper that were scraps from the jelly plate so I'm just going to grab one of those because I, I don't know I do like a sentiment on things so I'm just going to um, stamp that like so and then grab my scissors and pop that down, pop that somewhere. And then that hopefully will finish that one off. Actually, just wondering. I was going to get glitter, but I think I might have some black um, cabochon gem things, which I might do. And then once those nouveau drops have dried, so in the morning, um, what I might do is maybe add some black splatters. I don't really want to do it now because I don't want it landing in the nouveau drops. Don't think that would be overly pretty. But just yeah, pop that there. And then, um, as I said, I'm just going to grab a neat gem thing and pop that in. Okay, so I've got those there because I've already got those Nouveau drops there. They're not quite dry. I should just be able to pop those in the centre. I thought I had ones that were darker day, but I think I've just obviously used them up already. <laughs> so we'll go with those ones. That's fine. I could always, if I wanted to, grab my marker and just call it slightly. 
um, almost like dry brushing because I don't want to lose the sparkle but maybe just sort of adding that sort of makes it a bit more black than that bluey colour. Okay. Okay, so I think that is that card there. I might just grab one of the other jelly prints and then we can make a second card. Okay, so let's make another card using this print that we've got here. So again, I am just going to add a little bit of edging around the edge, strangely enough, because that's where you'd expect an edging to be. <laughs> I just always find adding a black line helps to frame things and it helps to draw the eye in. So I am just going to do that and then let's glue that down as our starting point. Okay, and then I am I always have issues with the glue. I've just been using it as well. I've only literally just finished like, making that last card, so it should be all ready to go but no we're having issues because we can <laughs> because it let's face it it would not be a video for me if you know we weren't having difficulties with the glue right so i'm going to stick that down there and once again i am going to just do some squiggly lines um, as a little bit of a border to this card Okay. like so just all that I've added detail and I think as I said with the last card um, because the jelly print is irregular and a bit grungy looking that having sort of scribbled doodle lines just works it just works with it right so now I've got and I'm just going to keep these as they've ended up being coloured because I quite like them um, similar design to what we did before. Um, I'm going to have the circles coming down the page. Now I thought it might be quite interesting to try and colour the circles a little bit. So we'll see what we might do by that. I've still got the paints that I was using just to the side. I had sort of thought of um, maybe filling it with like, like a gel or something texture paste. Oh, that would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Maybe we could try using um, try using the um, chipboards as a stencil. I wonder if that would work. Another video. I feel another video coming on. Let's experiment with that idea. That could be fun. It might be a bit deep, um, but we might be able to get something. Okay. I'll put that there. Um, let's see what navel drops do I have. We've got some different. I've got some different colours. Could be an interesting idea. Let's see what we got. And that one's a glitter one. Very nice. Right. Okay. I think those are all colours that kind of kind of go. So maybe I might just I might just fill some of these in, see what happens. Just as an extra extra little element. And what's quite cool with the nouveau drops is you can't they do tend to level a little bit. Um, like this trick off dawn, we just kind of tap the card a little bit and it will just level. So I think I'm going to just fill a few of these, like so. Okay, it's a bit of a strange edit there. Um, my battery died, so um, I just had to sort that out. So I've just been putting some of this Nouveau drops in the bigger circle. So some of them are looking a little bit uneven, so I'm just going to add a bit more so that we don't have gaps and things. I'm just going to pile it in and then if I sort of tap the card like so it should just help to 
level out of it, she says. That's what's going to be covered by a flower anyway. But yeah. That's my sort of plan anyway. Now, I'm going to put some of this blue in. Because it's fabulous and it matches that colour there. So, let's get some of these in. It's making a lovely noise. It's a bit different. It's not something I've ever really done before. Sort of filled the filled the shape. Sometimes it's just nice to have a play and try something just that little bit different. So again I'm thinking of odd numbers as I'm filling this up and as I said it, this all sort of goes with the colours that we've got going on. So we're going to have this real mixed media card here with lots of textures going on which is great. that. I am liking it. It's very, very different. Very different for me as well. Giving that a little tap. Now I'm trying to work out whether I want I think that orange goes a bit better. I'm going to put a couple of these, a couple of this colour in as well. And I think that will be us for this, this particular part or aspect of the card. Try to Make sure that I've got no air bubbles. As we go down. Cool. So the three there. And let's put three down here somewhere. As well. So that a bit of continuity. And I'll just pop that to the side. I'm noticing that one of those pink ones up there has got a bit of a gap so I'm going to go in and fill that in in a minute. Okay. Pop that down. As I said this one has got a bit of a, bit of a gap going on there so I'm just going to Fill that up a little bit. Get a bit more in here. Just even that. Right, so actually that one will be seen. Okay. I like that. It's a little bit different. Just try and, as I said, tap it just because it'll help to just even out those aspects of it. Right, now what I was going to do is use this flower here and have that as a feature just here. Um, I think what I am going to have to do though is get that cut out and ready and then assemble it tomorrow because all those nouveau drop things are going to have to dry. So, um, yeah, I think we'll stick with this, this colour. And so all I am going to do is I am going to glue that down on here and then I'm going to fussy cut it out um, so that I've got a solid element um, to put on the other card. As I said, then we'll just leave that and finish that particular part off tomorrow. And then we'll see how we get on. Oops. So yeah, I've used as I said, I've used these in making backgrounds, and now I am using them coloured. As I said, if I don't like the colour they've ended up with me playing and things, that's fine. We can just paint over them. That's not the end of the world. But as I said, hopefully it just gives us different ideas of how we can extend the products that we do actually have. So I'm going to cut into this and fussy cut around around this so that we have almost like as I would 
um, if I had the stamped images. And as I said, this set does come with stamped images, so please do check out. Um, I'll be putting a link to Sam's shop anyway, but if you want to check out the stamps, because they will go absolutely beautifully um, with them. It's just um, at this moment in time, like, like I know this when I get mine made, that um, if you order samples, um, they come at a different time and you might not get as many as you expected and all of that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll be getting my stamps a little bit later. But I think this, the stamps go absolutely beautifully. Definitely, I, would, I am definitely going to be getting them because they just go amazingly with all this stuff. Um, but yeah, worth checking out. So this, probably, I'm making a bit of a meal of this to be honest, but um, it would be best if I waited till it was dry, but then I am not overly patient, so <laughs> so I'm just keeping going. But yeah, basically I'm just going to go and fussy cut. Okay, so I've let this dry overnight. All of these pieces have solidified, and yeah, they filled in quite nicely. I think it gives a bit of a different look. So I'm just going to grab some embroidery thread. I've got some in this sort of lovely um, coral colour, and. I'm going to take a few pieces and sort of wrap it round. I most likely need to put an insert into the card. Um, this is going to be a little bit messy because the pieces of thread are quite short. <laughs> and I want a few of them. So, um, yeah, we'll make it work. This is the thing. It's, um, it's about using what you have. And um, if it doesn't quite work, you just fiddle with it a little bit till it does. I'm just trying to grab some 3D tape. 3D um, tape seems to have gone walkies, so I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape. But what we will do is, um, I will need to put an insert into this, um, into the card, just so that we don't see the workings of it. So we'll just tie that back, because we'll have a few to do. So, so I'm just going to put a couple um, across. So I said normally I would just sort of keep wrapping it but um, I don't really have the room for that so we'll just do it like this instead and it'll be fine. Right so I'll get that one in and this one in like so. Right. And then I think I probably want a third one as well so it just looks looks better so I'm going to need some new bits of tapes just so that it's all going at a bit more of a wonky an angle so I'll do that and then this back here like so so get all that stuck down and I will grab some scissors I'll just chop these little ends and as I said what I'll do is I'll create a matte layer with some white card and we'll just cover those workings under my long name. But it means we've got a bit more interest going on here now and I'm just going to um, stick that there. I think I'll maybe grab a piece of um, 3D foam first just to give that an extra little bit of dimension really build it up so we've got a bit of 3d foam and i will grab a bit of wet glue and we will put that on like so and get it working okay and we'll pop that on like so and then that is that card all finished up there so i hope you've enjoyed having a little look at this card. I think we had two didn't we because we made the two together in this video so I'll just grab the other one. So that's the two cards there. Okay so if you have enjoyed watching me put these together please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll be back again very soon. Okay take care then and goodbye.